We are looking at pencils today. Pencils for figure drawing. We are not sponsored by any of these people. No. We have no relationship <laughs> with them. That's that means, silly, isn't it? Yeah, but it does mean we're going to be completely yes. honest. Yes. So that's good, right? We are completely independent. So this is my mum, Mako, who runs Love Life Drawing with me. Hello. You have a saying that you want to start with, right? <laughs> yes. Um, because there is a very famous proverb in Japan, uh, Master Kobo doesn't choose a brush. Master Kobo was very famous for his skill and the talent for excellence of calligraphy. And uh, what proverb, proverb saying is that the master like a Kobo uh, doesn't need a um, special tool. Whatever he use, he can produce masterpiece. But I totally, hundred percent disagree. Mm -hmm. I think um, Master Kobo was extremely fussy about brass and paper, and uh, worried about the condition of brass and yeah. everything. What do you think? Well, I agree that he, you know, Master Kobo probably was picky about his brush and what he used. But the pro I agree with the proverb in the sense that if you are trying to learn figure drawing and struggling and there's something that you want, you know, you want your drawings to look better and then you see a great artist, it's not their materials that is the difference. Like if you just find out, oh, they used that pencil, that is probably not the secret that you know, a lot of, often people want a sort of secret, right? Like, what's the secret thing that makes their drawings great? It's probably not their pencil or their paper. It's probably fundamental principles of drawing. The one that you would go wrong with is something like a hard HB graphite pencil sharpened with a pencil yeah, sharpener. Yeah, HB age and too hard. And, and yeah, yeah, it's just not going to encourage you to do what you need to do. No, because simply it doesn't grind. Yeah, Not it encourages this. It's uh, like a writing pencil, right? But Mitsubishi but if you get high, a soft one, high unit is very, very good. Yeah, if you mark. get a nice soft one, it's great, yeah. right? This is the most gliding, smooth drawing experience. Mm. Because uh, it's 10B, it's so, yeah. so, so, so soft, right? But you don't have to go up to 10B. I mm. mean, 6B is very, very I mean, I haven't, soft. you know, one, one thing about the numbers is that it varies. So uh, B for one, it? yeah, is like 4B for another one or whatever. So you've got to try the specific yeah. thing. A nice thing about it is it's not too messy. Like some of these pencils we're going to see later they'll smudge real easily. Mm. But the graphite's not too messy, but on the other hand, it is easy to rub it out, right? Yeah. Like you can rub it out yeah, that's real great. easy. So and that's nice. Sh shading, tonal expression is quite versatile. Isn't it's it? pretty the versatile. Gra graphite. The downsides are one, it's a silvery gray color. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if you're like drawing, especially on like a newsprint or something, which is off-white, and then you're not, your, your pencil only goes up to a kind of grey, the value range, the contrast that yeah. you can achieve is a bit more limited. Like yeah. I'll put on the screen like the Mitsubishi, the, the graphite next to, let's say, the General's Carbon Sketch. Yeah, and you can you see... You have to show it, didn't you? No, no, I'll, put, I'll edit it oh, later. Okay. You can see like how much more power you have with your contrast with the uh, alternative Yeah, pencil. this is general to carbon. It's extremely dense. It's very really black, yeah. black, isn't it? Yeah. But most of the pencils that we tend to use are pastel pencils, charcoal pencils, mm. or something like that. Yeah. So let's get into some of those. We talked about this carbon sketch one, right? Yeah super powerful, uh, ne never really used it before, but just from trying it, mm. I can tell that I probably wouldn't use this. Mm. Because too... It's too much. Too, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's a bit uh, difficult to make. Um, maybe it's good for big scale. Yeah, like 
big scale drone, yeah. but uh, the, probably it's no good for detailed. I well, mean, the, the, it's got the power, but it doesn't have a lower gear. Mm. Like it, as soon as I put it down, it's like super str pretty strong. But on the other hand, you can use with the conjunction with your other. Yeah, pencils. that's true. Just you could you could reserve it for like your accent. big impact area yeah. or something. Yeah. A lot of these, it's like different purposes. They're a little bit better for different things mm. rather than one is better than the other. But thinking about the opposite of that is a wolf's carbon, right? Yeah. So it's also called carbon, but it's a much less strong mark. This, no. this one's the 4B and it's got, it's really, really nice to use, right? Easy to sharpen. Uh, it's got like, um, you know, versatile and you can put light marks, wider marks, soft marks and stuff like that. But it doesn't have, it doesn't go up to that similar kind of power, no. right? And when you're doing a quick sketch, are you doing any quick sketches? Yeah, I, th I think I used this one. Use this one. So they're good, right? Yeah. They're good. They, they're versatile and powerful. They do smudge pretty easily, mm. you know, so it does make for me, the only reason I don't always grab this one is you can do light marks, right? And then you can do strong marks, but it just, it goes up to strong quite quickly. And I'm already someone who naturally pushes a bit too hard. And so I tend to go a bit d too dark. Mm -hmm. And that's my, I should work on that skill of keeping but it light. I, I, as I said, the, the little to be. Of the same yeah, and I haven't mimic. really tried that. So maybe two beads is just yeah, it could be just right. Yeah. But like this, just a little bit smudgy, and it goes dark quite fast. So I end up getting a little bit of a mess of a heavy drawing, mm. right? With some of the other ones, I find it a little bit easier to control. Uh, if you want to use a charcoal pencil, we recommend the generals. I mean, there are many ma maker making. Charcoal pencil. Yeah, uh, I think the general one is the best. Yeah, I think. and you know Lane Brown, mm. the the artist. Oh yes. He uses a general's charcoal pencil, and he's, oh, he yeah. makes beautiful his, his drawings. Work is so, so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, and that actually, you'll find an artist who does beautiful stuff with any of these. Yeah, that's right? true. That's true. With anything, almost yeah. right. So yeah. I mean, ballpoint pens, um, people can produce great stuff. Um, Tembi, uh, it's Richard Powell. Yes, yes. Yeah, Richard Powell uses yeah. that one. Um, okay. Speaking of pencils that a lot of great artists use, we've got Conte Pierre Noir oh. 1710. This is the reg legendary. Yeah. 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 Uh, we don't use this. No. <laughs> Because it's a quality design. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. we can't use it because just to keep it. No, we can. I, I was using it for a long while. Oh, yeah. Um, it's just not worth the aggravation, right? <laughs> like, I kept getting ones that were snapped all the way down on delivery. Yeah. So as I sharpen it, like, I got good at sharpening it, peeling the wood away, sharpening yeah. with sandpaper, etc. Um, and that would work, but sometimes it would just be smashed up all the way, all the way inside, and so you'd sharpen it, and it would just fall to pieces. Mm. And um, it's a beautiful pencil; like it can do soft, gentle marks, mm. all really and versatile, the sharp one and, the... and then strong ones. And it, it goes can on make newsprint. A really clean line. Yeah, okay. and uh, it's got everything right. Yeah, not many, too many messy. Good artist to use. This yeah, 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 yeah. So if you can you know, figure out how you strip the wood away without snapping it, find it uh, intact, Yeah. Um, then go for it, right? Yeah, we are not just, not lucky with the content. So we, what we use mostly is the pit pastel. Yeah. Uh, uh, your favorite is the 199, so yeah. the black. Yeah, you like the 175. No, no, because I, I didn't know 199, that's all. Well, so, you can get different colors of pit pastel. Oh, they are very nice. Pastel. Yeah, very, very and good. and you can you know you can use them to build up a more of a pastel painting almost right with color. But I'm really talking about using these for quick more yeah quicker figure Clocking. drawing practice right. And for that, 
I don't think you need to bother with the other colors. At first, I was like, oh, it'd be fun to do my quick sketches with green and with blue. The reason that I just go with the darkest one is because uh, what I said before, like you want to be able to change the contrast, mm. right? So you want to go up anything that's gray or, or blue or green or whatever. It's not going to go in terms of the value. It's not going to have the same kind of because contrast. Because you use a new print. If you use yeah. a different paper, probably well, that's all right. Yeah, so newsprint is off-white. And then if you use a grey pencil and on off-white, it's not that different. And doesn't have a newsprint, doesn't have a tooth, so that's one reason, I think. Yeah, like smooth newsprint is what I like, because yeah. it's going to glide. Yeah. But now I think mainly I'm just going to get these. Yeah. Right? Easy to sharpen. It doesn't go like super dark as soon as you put it on the paper, like mm. some of them. You got to push a little bit hard to get mm. like a really strong dark mark, which for me is good because I already push too hard and I don't want everything to be dark. Mm. So this is good because you, you can't like um, go too heavy too soon. And a lot of people when they're learning go way too heavy early in the drawing and everything, all the marks become oh, right. dark and heavy. Yeah, yeah. And I have that still. And so this one helps me control that a little bit easier. Very versatile. But yeah. if you do push hard, uh, you know, not super hard, but just a little bit harder, you can get really strong marks with it. Mm. Um, not too expensive. Uh, it's just, just great. In the UK, £1.70 or something. Yeah. yeah. So you oh, found when, one, when right? When we talk about the price, this is the most expensive pastel pencil, I think. Karandash pastel pencil. This is I use for pastel drawing, pastel painting, simply because the color, I mean, yeah, selection of color is really special. You know, if you are like quite rich, then you won't worry. But uh, if you aren't and you've got like a really expensive pencil and really expensive paper, then you're going to be more upset when the drawings go wrong. Yeah, that's true. You're going to be more like, oh, I've got to make this look good. You don't yeah. want that mindset. So newsprint is nice and cheap. Smooth newsprint with, you know, it's not a cheap pencil, but it's not too bad. No. no and then you can just it, bang, bang, bang yeah, every day. Yeah. Tons of them, put them straight in the bin. No, this pit pastel is a really high end. I mean, yeah, this yeah, Karandash yeah. one is an exceptional. And one, we, yeah. I, I won't say £1.70 cheap. This is a, no, it's not cheap, yeah. but it's not three pounds. But it's worth it because Pit Pastel lasts long and uh, yeah. produces really good results. Yes, yeah. so the last one is the Carbothello. Ah, you know, I don't know the Carbothello, you talk about it. It's kind of similar to the Pit Pastel, I think. Um, I just find it just, I don't know why, but I just find that the drawings end up being not quite as clean as I like. I get it a little bit cleaner with the pit pastel. Yeah, I don't have a good luck with the cow pastel because when only time I bought it, it's just a everyone kept, just kept Oh, snapping. really? Yeah, I haven't had that. But that's not pencil's fault. I think Sarah's fault because I bought from a yeah. sh shady eBay seller. Yeah, you're always on eBay <laughs> buying materials, right? So to summarize, your materials do matter even when you're learning, but the only in terms of their basic characteristics. So they should be quite versatile. Ideally, they can put down soft marks and strong marks, thin marks and wider marks, be a little bit correctable. Yeah, yeah. And if you can, I'm not happy with any of them, just go to Willow <laughs> Chuckle. Willow Chuckle is the most um, forgiving yeah, um, willow charcoal is like, it does everything. Yeah, versatile. Ah, but the, you know what? I used to obviously recommend willow charcoal a lot. But recently I'm thinking, uh, because you know, because it really encourages you to not be too detail-oriented, mm. etc. But recently it's just how messy it gets. Right? Yeah. Like it just mm. comes off the paper. It can be frustrating. And when you're yeah, learning... Just 
So you get this, handle. goes black, and then <laughs> you're trying to learn. It, it, it also encourages, I think, a little bit of like trying to render things. Mm. Um, it's not really going to encourage lines, but when you're learning, I think you need to often be defining your, defining shapes and yeah. defining forms with lines mm. uh, rather than kind of smudging stuff mm. and this kind no, of encourages right. smudging and it's like you don't really want to be like doing this fine rendering smudgy stuff mm. you want to be like defining here's the cross contour line. Yeah, here's you, the plane you have a point. Yes. yeah so For la learning probably yeah do so something more def def defined yeah. right yeah yeah because you want to be clear about what you're doing yeah that's true uh, and then later on as you develop if you like that kind of stuff you can mm. do it but it's always going to be based on your understanding of forms and shapes and stuff like that so yeah that is our first review let us know what you thought about this would you like us to do other yeah. stuff we'd like to do more yeah so uh, we can do we, uh, by the way we don't have any sponsor yeah we mentioned that right oh, okay. <laughs> yeah no one's paying us we don't even have youtube ads because they banned us from that so although they are uh, they said that um, they're changing their terms so that they can put ads on our stuff even though oh, did it? we don't get anything from it. That's so I don't know fair. if yeah, I don't know if they're doing that. But, well, it's their website, right? I don't know if they're doing that, but if you see an ad on our videos, I'd love it if you could let us know in the comments because uh, it's got nothing like we're not in the ad program or whatever. No. But anyway, uh, let us know what <laughs> other materials no, let us know if this was a good way of doing the video. What else you'd want to know about this stuff? We can do pastels because you are, a, you know, tons about pastels. We can do paint, like gouache paint, watercolor paint. We can do digital um, as well, and uh, we can do paper. Oh, paper is a big subject. Yeah, paper. Very important. And um, erasers even. This, oh yeah. Yeah, I tried the robot eraser, which I thought would be kind of rubbish, but it was amazing. What well, electric? The one you gave me, yes. Yeah, so. Oh, I think that's super. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, thanks for watching, guys, Thank and you we'll very see you next much. time. All right, bye.